not all meat. Dead meat. They say dead food and bracket meat. It is dead meat is prohibited. Even in the Quran. Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse 173, Surah Mahitha chapter 5 verse number 3, Surah Aram chapter 6 verse 145, Surah Nehal chapter 16 verse 115, Surah Ramad alaykumul maithu tu vaddamu ala hamul kinzir, Amma ahuilla ali kiar illa bi. Forbidden for you for food, ah, dead meat, blood, the flesh of swine, and any food on which any name besides Allah has been invoked. Where it is allowed? If you read the book of Genesis, chapter number 9, verse number 2 and 3, it says that they will fear you, they will dread you, all creatures of the earth, all fowls in the sky, all creatures that live on the earth, as well as all the fish in the sea. They uh -huh. shall be delivered to you. Next verse, Genesis chapter 9 verse 3 says that every creature that moveth on land and is a living creature, they are meat unto you and also herbs and shrubs. Mention the book of Deuteronomy chapter number 14 verse number 9 that ye shall have the meat of all the things in the water. All that has fins and scales you shall eat. Deuteronomy chapter number 14 verse number 11 says that you shall have the lawful meat of the birds. Deuteronomy chapter number 14 verse number 20 says <laughs> that you shall eat the meat of the lawful fowls. It's allowed. Further if you read, it's mentioned in the book of Hebrews chapter 5 verse number 13 and 14 that if you have milk, you are weak. If you have strong meat, you are powerful in reasoning. Bible says that, not us. That's right. Bible. In the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 24, only quotation, mm -hmm. verse number 41 to 43, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, goes in the upper room, and he says, Have you any meat to eat? Mm -hmm. And the disciples gave him a piece of broiled fish mm -hmm. and honeycomb, fish, and he ate before them. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. In the book of Romans, chapter number 14, verse number 21, mm -hmm. that one who believeth in eating all things, he can eat. Those who are weak, they only eat herbs and shrubs, uh -huh. but anyone who eateth uh -huh. should not insult those who eateth not, uh -huh. and those who eateth not should not judge those who eateth. This uh -huh. is the law of God. Hindu scriptures, uh -huh. if you read the law of Manu, chapter number 5, verse number 30, it's clearly mentioned that the eater can eat any creature that lives, even if he eats every day. A creator created some creatures to eat and some to be eaten. Laws of Manu, Manu Smriti, chapter number 5, verse number 31. It says that huh? if you eat in a sacrifice, this is the law for God. Manu Smriti, chapter number 5, verse number 42. Huh? It says that a twice born. Huh? Oh, look at this, look at this. Huh? The guy wants proof, evidence, he wants evidence. Brother. What's this? Brother. Look. The father enjoyed that, Zakir Bhai. He enjoyed it the most. Watch now your statements. Yeah, you come in back. Okay, come in. Please. What is worth? I'm always prepared. I'm always prepared when I quote scriptures. Therefore, it's not on the table, it's inside. I wasn't supposed to quote unless compared otherwise. Now they're compelling me to answer. Therefore, I kept it behind. Otherwise, my books are in the front always. They are compelling me to reply, therefore I am replying. It is within the rules of the debate. I haven't completed it. Oh. You have made. One, two, three. M. Me. My. My. Me. No. One. So my. is laughing because all of you want to put, they all want to put words into your mouth. mouth. Sorry, sorry. They all want to put words into my father's mouth. Please don't do that. G. H. I. I. What word? Christian. Hindu. Christian. 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 Hindu. Christian. Hindu. 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 Right. Now you read it out in properly. Zakir, my son, I am proud of you. Thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you have made mincemeat of the Hindu, Christian and Jain. Keep up the good work. Thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it was your inspiration that took me to this field. It's because of you that I've come to this field, Angel. Jazakallah. May Allah reward you for all that I'm doing. Communicate. You want me to do it? Zakir Bhai? 
You want me to do it? Okay, and just write for me. One, three, four, S, S. Subjects. Just subjects. One, two, three, M, N, O, O. Off. 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 The. The. One, A, B, C, D, D. One. And then Jazakallah for helping us at that at that time. So I was telling my father, um, as I said, it is only four days ago we saw we got your video tapes. Four days ago. We got your video tapes, only four days ago. And um, immediately, as I said, we put your tapes on. And my father was totally, totally it uh, brought him emotionally broken down. We had love. And uh, by the fact that uh, I think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and I told him this uh, last night, was it? I told him last night that it must be a specific reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept him alive. On the basis that he's quite serious. This is, as you know, as a doctor, the stroke is very serious. Of course. In fact, so much so that they only gave him 10 days to live in 1996. The doctor, 10 days. And alhamdulillah, he pulled in four years. Waiting for Zakir stage to come out. <laughs> so I told my father that maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants you to see. <laughs> wants you to witness that all your hard work <laughs> did not go down for nothing. <laughs> they can never banish your work as they so much so try to do. One, A, A, have. You have. One, A, a. One, A, B, C, C. One, two, G, H, H. One, two, G, H, I, I. Me. One, A, B, C, D, E, F, F. Forty. Forty years. Forty years? Forty years. One, that's it. Read it, what it says. My son, you have achieved in four years <laughs> what took me 40 years. Barangil, it was because of your 40 years hard work that that, I, that was possible. Because a person makes the basement first, and that takes time, and then the building comes up. So because of your 40 years hard work that I took four years, if it wasn't there, then I would have taken 44 years. <laughs> so because of Allah, Allah has helped that, that we got guidance from you, that you did all this paid work and the hard work <laughs> of 40 years as possible for us to do it in just a, sh a short time. So inshallah Allah will reward you for everything. We reward all the, all the people that love you and are doing just because of your, your inspiration. Okay, can you tell my father lastly, what's your project you have now? <laughs> tell us your project. Me, I think three years back, that I want to witness a Dawa training college in India and only you can do it internationally. And then there was a dream that we should start a Dawa training college. We did have a Dawa training program last year. But now we have a project of building a new complex, which is a big complex. And uh, the project is big, but may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it possible soon. We also have plans of making a satellite channel. And we spoke with Ikra channel just when I was there in Jeddah last week. And they agreed to show half an hour the English programs of IRF uh, every day, Alhamdulillah. Now we are successfully showing half an hour every day to more than 100 countries, Alhamdulillah. Because now is the age of science and technology. We are sitting here but every day, millions of people are watching, Alhamdulillah. And thanks because we all always insist on quality. And I remember uncle said, good quality, umatic. So we tried to keep up with the quality and now we have beta cam uncle, Alhamdulillah. So this cassette was beta cam, the non-wish. That was a VHS old cassette. So Alhamdulillah, we are trying our level best